Hi, I'm Kehan Barabi, and apologies for interrupting your amazingly exciting life, but we have a Kehan TV sports break for you. The National League Championship Series of Major League Baseball concluded last night, and the Chicago Cubs ousted the LA Dodgers to book their place in the World Series. As the Cubs look to break the curse of the Billy Goat and win their first World Series in 108 years, the Dodgers put in a very valiant effort in which, in the eyes of many, they massively overachieved this year, getting to the doorstep of the World Series. We have our LA Dodgers correspondent at Dodger Stadium. Number five, are you there? Yes, I am here. Number five, it was a heartbreaking end to the season for the Dodgers, who saw their talisman Clayton Kershaw, former league MVP, rocked for five runs in five innings and took the loss in an elimination game for the Dodgers once again. A day later, the dust has settled a bit. What would you say went wrong for the Dodgers after looking somewhat in control of the series after game three with two more home games to go? Well, after game three, K. Dodger fans felt pretty confident they were going to win the series and go to the World Series for the first time since 1988. But the fact of the matter was, plainly put, that they weren't the better team. So they had to roll the dice and take some chances in their style of play to have a chance to steal that series. And they could have very well stole it from the Cubs, but were too conservative when it mattered most. Dave Roberts managed incredibly boldly for a rookie manager in the opening round series against the Nationals, pitching his closer Kenley Jansen for three innings in Game 5, and then bringing in Kershaw to close, but he wasn't willing to take the same risks when his team found themselves on the doorstep of the World Series. Maybe he will think again when he finds this situation again later in his career, because he should be back, and all Dodger fans were happy with his management this season and want him back. Well, what do you think he could have done differently that may have given his team a better chance to win that series? Well, after Game 4, when the Cubs tied the series 2-2, two to two, he was faced with a decision to either start Kershaw again on short rest or to start Kenta Maeda and save Kershaw for Game 6 with full rest. It was a decision that even Dodger fans were torn over, so he didn't receive much criticism for it, especially since Kershaw was pitching so much in the opening round. But there was a sense in that game that they weren't going to win and resigned themselves to the fact that they would have to win two in Chicago with their two best starters. But they left themselves with no room for error and Kershaw failed on that night. But my conclusion, personally, is that Dave Roberts didn't dance with the girls who brought him to the party. The only reason they were in the NLCS was because he took out-of-the-box risks to force a win in that opening round and to defeat a far superior Cubs team, he had to take those same risks. And when it came down to it, he didn't want to take the criticism if they lost. With the series tied at two, Roberts had a chance to put his foot on the Cubs' throats and take control of that series and try to get to get to four wins as fast as he could. If the series swung three to two the Dodgers' way, the momentum could have been far different and the Cubs would have been faced with the pressure of winning both games at Wrigley. And at that point, momentum could have carried the Dodgers through regardless of a tired pitching staff. That Game 5 loss at home really killed any momentum the Dodgers had, and they couldn't recover. All right, well, NLCS appearance is nothing to be ashamed of for him, though. What do you feel is the general outlook for this team going forward? Well, overall this season, Dodger fans were pretty happy. Sure, they haven't been to a World Series in 28 years, but it was still a very good season. No one thought they had any chance to get this far. I feel this team had far better chemistry than last year's team, who had characters such as Zach Grinke, who was throwing fits when his bullpen would give up a lead. Although that team may have been better on paper, they weren't playing for each other. This team played for each other and went above and beyond their means. And with the losses of Grinke and Matt Kemp over the past couple of seasons and the makeshift bullpen that they came into the season with, Beating a solid Nationals team in a five-game series was definitely a surprise and a joy to watch for Dodger fans all over the world. One last thing, number five. Can we just get your World Series prediction? Ooh, I'm going to say Indians. The Dodgers weren't the team to knock off the Cubs, but the Cubs still have a lot hanging over their head, and it'll take a lot of work to take this home. It's a tough choice, but I'll have to take the Indians. All right, number five, well, thanks for your analysis. We'll check back in with you next year when the Dodger season rolls around again. 
That's all for this edition of Sports Break. Hope we can catch up to you again later.